Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And I'm back with the best of 2024 because I really haven't been doing monthly uh, favorite videos and so I thought I'd just get it all together um, in July, which is the seventh month, so we're a little bit past the middle of the year and go ahead and do my favorites now. And so it'll be a little bit longer video and I hope that you enjoy it. As far as starting off with some base products, there have been a whole bunch of drip store releases uh, this year and um, I do have a couple of products that I didn't get until this year um, that have been out a little bit longer, but I do have to say that I love the Maybelline Super Stay C Plus, and with this one, I think that it's more of a foundation than a tint, but it's really one of my favorites. Uh, the Revolution Skin Silk as well, and I have this one in F2 and this one in the lightest shade 102. So. I've really been enjoying those quite a lot. Um, the L'Oreal True Match is always a favorite that I've been uh, actually since they reformulated this at the end of last year. I've really been enjoying this one as well. And then to go ahead and move on to bronzer, uh, probably this year the NYX Buttermilk Bronzers I have mine and um, all buttered up and buttercup. These are the two lightest shades and I've really been enjoying these as well. And um, just to go ahead and take a look at these. Here we go. So um, this one is going to come off a little bit more peach. This one has a little bit more red. And I'm really enjoying both of these bronzers. Didn't think that I could wear anything but the lightest shade, but this line proved me wrong, and I'm glad that they did. Oh, I have a product that I forgot to mention, which I don't think I've mentioned on camera as much as I've used it, but the Glow Serum by Hard Candy, and I've really been enjoying this. It does have a little bit of tint to it, so it gives you a little bit of bronzy look. The only drawback is that it does smell like candy for me. I like that a lot, but I guess some people might not. And so that's what I have there. As far as blushes right now and what I'm doing, um, I have to admit that I've been enjoying the Rare Beauty blushes quite a lot, and I did go ahead, and these are the newer ones that are sort of the highlighty sort of ones, and I have this one in Hope, which is really pretty, and so they have a highlighter mixed in with them, and then today I have Truth on, and that's this one right here, so yeah. I've really been enjoying these blushes. I've also really been enjoying the e.l.f. liquid blushes. And so I have one in peach and one in mauve, or coral and mauve. There we go. And so I've really been enjoying those. As far as what I've been doing for highlighter, and I have a couple of those, um, I've really been enjoying the uh, Liquid Lights by ColourPop, and I have mine in the champagne color, and also the Hard Candy, the Tree Foils. Um, this is also a champagne color, but I really love the applicators on these. They're a doe foot, and um, they're not very, they're not messy, and that's really nice. And so I've really been enjoying these a lot too. And then um, from LYS, they put out a whole bunch of new blushes. This is Curvy, and I've really been enjoying this one as well. And let's see, moving on to, oh, well, I've kind of been moving back and forth here. Uh, another highlighter that I've really been enjoying is the Bubble Balm by Revolution. And so um, this one I got over at Target. It's really, um, it's a balm. It has a little bit of pearl in it, and it's really pretty. It's kind of an icy one. And then also new to me, but I think it came out a little while ago, the Glam Light Scooby-Doo. And so this highlighter has a pink highlighter up here and a gold highlighter down here. The gold is actually glitter, 
and I do have this one on today so um, yep yeah, I have some of that and the liquid lights by ColourPop on today so really glowy and for me highlighter never goes out of style so I really like it as far as mascaras I found two favorites this year and uh, Panorama by L'Oreal it's what I have on today I find that it gives me a lift and curl and it doesn't just kind of go boom 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 during the day the other one that I really like is Essence Lash Without Limits and these two are really good drugstore mascaras and I'd recommend them to anybody and let's see, as far as going ahead and moving on to some lips and what I have on there, um, there have been so many lip products. And um, so the NYX uh, Fat Oil, and really liking that in both uh, the stick and also the little bottle as well. And the So Juicy by ColourPop, again, another good lip. Um, as far as the actual pump, Plumper glosses. The best ones that I found so far are from Hard Candy. And this is the Hard Candy Gloss and Sun Kissed. And this is when their lipstick and on again. And um, as far as lip plumpers, I think uh, these Hard Candy products are actually the best that I found at the drugstore. So again, all four of these are going to be formulas that I really like and have really liked this year. And let's see. As far as moving on to eyeshadow, and I'm running out of room here. Well, first off, uh, the L'Oreal True Match um, Concealer I've really enjoyed as well. And I'm really liking that one. It's what I have on today one other highlighter palette and that's the unusual beauty this one I got out of Timu uh, when I made my Timu order I wasn't really enthusiastic I didn't think that I would find very many products that I like this one if you could pick it up or if you can pick it up I really suggest it it's a really good product and really good highlighter it gives you six different highlighters the other um, Timu purchase that really worked out were the Emride eyeliners. I have them on today. And actually, these are private label um, eyeliners. So, a couple of different companies do these. I think Handion is another company. Um, but they're basically the same thing, just with different names on them. Again, from Timu, I think you can get a pack of like 3, 5, 10, or 20. And I really, again, didn't think that they'd be worth the money, but they really turned out to be worth, um, really like them. And then um, as far as uh, lippy pencils, the ColourPop lippy pencils, I think this one is in Birdie. I'm, I'm going to have to leave that down in the bottom box because I'm not quite sure. As far as what I've liked for eyeshadow palettes, it's really been more of a cool year for me rather than a warm year. So um, the Flower Coastal Lights, I got these right at the beginning of the year and I've really been enjoying them quite a lot. And I have the other one here as well. We'll run into it here in just a moment. Probably my favorite palette so far of the year is going to be the Twilight palette. And I really didn't think that there was going to be a lot of variety in this palette, but it's pretty amazing. Um, it's on the ColourPop website, and I would definitely go ahead and recommend it for anybody who wants a cool tone palette. It's going to give you blues, browns, greens, and purples in there. and. It, well, actually, it's more of a periwinkle blue than a purple, but there's a little bit of purple in here. Um, but a cool tone palette, this is one of the best out there. Really unexpected. Really didn't think I'd like this palette, but it may be my favorite palette so far this year. Um, another one and another cool tone one that I got, the, the So Elemental from ColourPop. Really liking this one as well. It's more of a classic blue palette, 
and so it's going to have those sky blues and navy blues in there. These two that look kind of brown actually come out to be a light blue as well. And so really enjoying that palette as well. One of the palettes that have been out for a while, but I didn't get it until the beginning of this year, is, and actually it was the first time I tried Odin's Eye, but their Christmas Eve palette is absolutely unique gorgeous. The formula is really different from anything I've tried in the United States and so really pretty palette. Their quality is great. It's very very different. It feels a little bit drier than what I'm used to um, but you don't have fallout and their topper shades are absolutely gorgeous. So really loving that one as well. And Let's see here. Uh, next one I have an Alter Ego palette and this one is Wildwood. It's uh, one of the newer Alter Ego palettes. It's based on a Natasha Denona, the Yucca palette. And yeah, their packaging is great for this. And then their formula is pretty amazing. These have micro glitters. The, um, the shimmery shades and the whole top rows all shimmery shades micro glitters in there you can go really gold you can do brown green um terracotta really pretty really versatile palette and um definitely oh and you can do gold too it does some really pretty gold looks so again i've really been enjoying the palettes that i have gone ahead and purchased this year and then the other Flower Beauty one that I got at the beginning of the year is Garden Lights. And um, so again, really pretty palette, uh, Coastal Lights and Garden Lights. They have two other palettes that are a little bit older in this series. And the formula is just great. I've just really enjoyed all of these. And... Uh, Speaking of really good formulas, ColourPop, um, and this is their Super Shock. Uh, this was a gift with purchase, actually, for their 10-year anniversary. It's one of their silver shades. Really great formula if you're looking for a very shiny, shiny uh, kind of eyeshadow. Have to say that the Hard Candy, their Girl Scout collaboration, this one is a Caramel Queen shadow palette. And these I thought were just plain fun. And so, um, yeah, I don't know if these are still available, but they're great palettes if you can find them. Um, a couple of companies have actually gone out of business and but I still think some of the formulas are like super duper amazing and that would be well this is an AOA um, C palette but inside the AOA C palette are the Loxi or Luxi L-O-O-X-I unfortunately they're not in business anymore but their shadows are absolutely pretty amazing duochrome, multi-chrome, and gorgeous shadows. So uh, really, really wanted to mention them. I'm uh, not sure what's going on with them, but their website isn't working at the moment. Uh, they may be actually rebranding. We're not sure what's going on with them right now. Oh, the NYX Butter Gloss. I've been talking about this for a long time and uh, came out at the beginning of the year. This is Butter Gloss Bling, and this is, Butter Gloss has been out for a while, but Butter Gloss Bling actually has some um, glitter in there, really pretty. Pretty, pretty formula. And I am really enjoying these. I have this one in peach, another one in burgundy. And let's see, is there anything else? Oh, powder. Okay, this one size. Ultra pink powder. Pretty amazing. Very, very brightening. A little bit darker than I, what I thought it was going to be. So, I don't know if you can actually see. Um, but it does 
sort of mattify. I have a little bit on today right under the eyes. It definitely brightens, and it's a really good powder. Um, let's see if I can find the other one. So it may take me just a second to find my other powders here. There we go. Uh, the Butter Glow, the uh, Physician's Formula Butter Glow. And this one is actually in the translucent color. And so that one, again, is really amazing. Um, hmm. I think that's all the new products that I have, and I know that's a whole bunch, but like I said, I haven't been doing favorite videos, so I kind of wanted to go ahead and uh, let people know what I was really enjoying. I've also taken a little bit of a break from YouTube. I've been posting once or a couple of times a week, but I really haven't been going at it because I needed a little bit of a break, so I took one. Oh. As far as the eye look, this is from Twilight. And the eyeliner is actually those Emirate eyeliners that I was talking about. So I guess that's going to be the video. And I hope that you have a great day. And um, thank you. And again, have a great day and a great rest of the year. Bye.